Well, good morning to you. And it's a good morning today. I've got up, ran the comb through my bed head of hair, and I'm making an early start of it. Got to go hit the post office first, and then I'm going to go down, visit my daughter down in Corsicana. I'm going to look at some records on the way there. I've got an appointment to see a bunch of uh, 45s. I hope they're soul in blues and things like that. They have what I need. I'll pay them well. Uh, first, though, I have to run to the post office, offload some of the uh, Fredonia 78s that I cut of my own music. Been selling those like hotcakes, provided hotcakes are made in batches of 20 or less for the entire run. Some are going to Germany, some all the way to Japan, some even in Kansas. <laughs> I kid you not. Come with me, let's enjoy, and we'll see what we can find because I buy old records, and you better like and subscribe. Well, I've made it to Corsicana, stopped by and picked up my daughter, Chelsea, who's actually taking the video at this point. Of course, she doesn't want to be on <laughs> camera because she doesn't have her makeup on. She thinks she looks like she was in a burn ward or something. No, no, no. You know how people are. They tend to overreact when you get a lens around them. But it's okay. She's cool. She's a musician. She has a band called the, well, a, a project called the Evil Eye Effect. A duo. Yeah, it's a duo. I'd say band, but when it's two people, that's more of a duo thing. They're pretty cool. It's not my kind of music, but I, I could see the influences there. www.theevileyeeffect.com There you go. We're going to go out here to a little town called Purden, take a look at some records. I'm hoping it's blues. I'm hoping it's soul. Maybe a little rock and roll. Probably I'll get there and it'll be uh, Tony Bennett. Tony's cool. That guy can still move people with that voice of his. I just can't sell his records. <laughs> Let's go. Well, found a few records in the house. Gonna look at some 78s over here in the shop. I like being out in this area. Oh, cool. Well, sadly, the 78s out there were too decomposed and rained on to survive. Uh, it's always fun to look. I've just got to wash my hands real good afterwards. You get mold out here when you get a pile of rained on vinyl. Playing them, seeing what we've got. And that one looks kind of neat. W. Williams and his Blues Men, Mississippi Roundhouse. That's going to need a really good cleaning. And I like this one, Bud Landon. Just fine. Found three decent records there. One was uh, Pop Acre or Pops Acre on OK Records, an old 78 harmonica solo, probably from about 1924, 25. Then uh, did a uh, rockabilly record by Bud Landon. That's out from uh, West Texas. Sorry about all that. I was turning the air conditioner on on the car since it's. December and it's either freezing or burning up. Got that rockabilly record by Bud Landon. And then I got a mystery record on a Mississippi label. Uh, kind of a late 60s blues funk thing, but it's in pretty terrible shape. So hopefully it'll clean up and play well. I kind of doubt it. So I'm off to a good start. We're going to go back into course kind of proper, hit some shops that I missed the last time I was coming through town. Well, we're back into the booming metropolis of Corsicana, where I moved away five times before I finally moved away for good. Ah, if you like Corsicana, you like it. If not, it's Corsicana. Anyway, we're going to go uh, hit some places downtown that I missed the first time because, well, they weren't open. Okay, so we are going to jaywalk, according to my daughter. Yeah, 
We're going to check this place out. Hopefully they'll have something. You know the drill. Found some 78s to look at. All I need is one good one. I'll switch to specs on this. Oh, okay, these are all German records. No wonder I thought I was having a stroke. It turns out these records are just in German. Jugendkor. See, this, this is an acetate record. Come here, bring that thing up here close. And this is a studio cut record, like with, well, probably cut on the same kind of machine I have. There's no lead in the grooves. It's probably a 1936 Presto. Reinhold Walter Dirigent, Toyland. So it's a kid's choir recorded in German. How it ended up here in Texas? I'll never know. More 78s? Huh, Crazy Ramblers. We'll take a look. I'm not so sure. How much are they? Four dollars each. That might that might negate getting that record. Ethel in my gas tank, no gal in my arms. Jimmy Heap. He was from Taylor, Texas. He did some cool stuff. Take a look at this, I don't think. Now it's got a pressure crack in it. We will pass on that. Didn't find anything there, but a uh, really cool guy that runs it. And now I'm going to check some of the competition out. I found a few 45s here before. And most of the people around are, are pretty nice that run the shops. Sometimes you'll run across people that aren't so much. Then when you find something great that's worth a lot of money, you feel much better about it. Well, we'll talk over this radio here so we don't infringe copyrights, but I'm going to start going through this little stack of 45s in this shop. Maybe luck will be with me, but I have to have to cover up what's playing in the background. That's the bane of my existence is the background music some of these places will play, especially at Christmas time. Well, okay, I found some 50 cent 78s. Uh, interesting things. Here's a, a nice risque song from that I remember. Actually, I heard this on the radio when I was a teen. Buddy Jones. It has one of the earliest electric steel guitar solos. It's called Now She's Selling What She Used to Give Away. But he never quite comes out and says what it is. This one is another risque record. She tried it last night. The flip side, though, it's probably instrumental Gambler's Blues don't know how that is and this one is just Hurtado Brothers Royal Marimba Band of Guatemala doing an Argentine tango might as well try it at that price I can gamble let's keep looking well you can always check the Salvation Armies and Goodwills and such out usually they don't have much but you'll be surprised at the stuff that actually will turn up from time to time it's been years since I found anything decent here. Well, no records at all, but a couple of good three, four dollar pairs of jeans that fit, but then the piece de resistance. This is a marvelous home done painting where they put netting over the finished product into the wet paint. So it's kind of part of there now. Somebody had a tribute done to him. I wonder who the poor lady was. That's going in my record room. We will go over here and check out the glorious thrift shop that has been around for a bit. It's the Segunda Thrift Shop. That means somewhere there's a first, if my Spanish is correct. And, and it, you need to be bilingual, folks. It's just a better thing, you know? That way I can buy records in all sorts of languages. I like places like this, dimly lit. Sometimes good things are hiding in places like this. Sometimes nothing is hiding. Well, I mean, lots of things are hiding, but nothing I need. But let's, let's continue. Let's keep going. Maybe there's a shop that's popped up. I can't think of any more, unless there's one over here on Main Street. So it always pays not to believe the owners when they say there's no records here you go you look anyway if time permits because sorry about that it's about to eat them uh they will have records quite often so it's worth a look well i found a few 45s in that last place that where they said they didn't have records one looks like a garage thing one's a lefty for sale from about 1951 
but it's real sweet shape. It's nice. This is the birthplace of Lefty Frizzell, actually, Corsicana. He was actually born in Tuckertown, which is an old, uh, man, I gotta comb my hair someday. Uh, it was just outside of the city limits. Can't remember the third one, but it looked interesting. Maybe they'll turn out to be good. Well, just let Chelsea back off at her house. I'm gonna do the rest of this run solo. I'll keep looking, not much more in town to hit. I may go up to Ennis, though, and look, do a little looking there. So, leaving Corsicana. That's a good thing for me. It may be to your taste to visit. I do like the fruitcakes they make there. I'm heading on uh, up the road. There's a few smaller towns up ahead. Like I said, I found some good records back there. Got them hidden. Found a couple of cool photographs, an old autographed Capitol Records promo picture of Wanda Jackson from the late 50s. It was like a postcard that she'd sent out to her fans. And then I bought a great 8x10 autograph by Porter Wagoner. He of the really outlandish Nudie Western outfits. Nudie was the name of the tailor that made them. He was legendary. Rhinestones everywhere, embroidered with all sorts of things, Americana and Westercana. Westercana. So uh, I'm going to go up here and do some more looking, hook it home, and then I'll go through my treasure trove, see what there I can do something with. I need to cut some more 78 records, had a few more orders come in for them, so I'll get that done. But all in all, so far a nice day. I've spent maybe, maybe $30. I like that. If I don't spend a lot, end up finding good stuff, eh, the math works in my favor. Well, I can subscribe, as I think I've already said once. So heading on the uh, old highway up into Ennis, gonna see what's there. Gonna see what's not there. That'll probably be a lot of that, huh? Neat thrift shop here that I sometimes come to. Occasionally I'll find something, but they blare that music, don't they? Yeah, especially at Christmas time. And you've got to dig for stuff here, which makes it interesting. Well, went through a bunch of Square Dance 78s back there, which, as I've said before, are the bane of my existence. They look good. They're usually in great shape because nobody played them, but sadly, musically, they are lacking. And I love a good old country fiddle tune, but these have those Square Dancers calling over them, and can't have that. I don't know any Square Dance collectors. If there are, contact me. I'll start picking you up a bunch of cheap square dance records. Make it worth my while. That and if I could find somebody to collect a Glenn Miller 78s, I'd be a rich man. But I've yet to run into them. So uh, we're probably going to leave Ennis, go on up to another place up near Ferris or two if they're open. And then I guess I'll just beat it on back home and relax in the glory that is Central Texas living. All right, so I stopped at a, another place there, a thrift shop. They were just blaring the, the Christmas music out, so I couldn't do any filming in there. But I did find the uh, Philippian, yeah, Philippian gospel singers. Don't know them, but hopefully it's a good uh, soulful type of gospel thing. Another soul record by Willie and Anthony. Don't know how that'll be. Found an unopened bag of 45 poly sleeves. I've never found that out in the wilds before, so that's refreshing. Saves me from having to buy some. Those things aren't cheap, man. That's 20 bucks worth of, of uh, sleeves there for a dollar. The guy, when I was leaving, said I looked like Dan Aykroyd, and I get that a lot, really. Got stories about that. Even signed his name one time. Because the guy wouldn't leave me alone and insisted that's who I was, so who am I to disappoint? I don't want to disappoint anybody, but I do quite often. Hope I never disappoint y'all, though, out in YouTube land. So, uh, just keep watching. We'll have more cool stuff. I've got some records to go through when I get home. Hopefully there's a sleeper in there that'll score me some cash. Y'all be real good. I'll see you next time.